Hello, my dear students. How are you all? So I think you are enjoying your vacations. So today we'll I will start a new chapter that is motion in plane part one. That is your fourth chapter of PUC first year or your eleventh class. You can say so. Before going to the chapter, please subscribe to my channel. That is, let's learn physics. So let us learn physics now, naturally, and make it easy for your further studies. Okay, come, let's start. So let us see in the last uh, section or in the last chapter, we have seen the motion of an motion of an object in a straight line. so when a body has motion in one dimension such as an object moving along a straight line there are two di directions possible so when a body is moving in a straight line it has only two directions that is forward or backward or upward or downward the direction of displacement velocity and acceleration it can be taken by positive or negative signs okay now to describe motion of an object in two dimensions that is in space so that two dimensions means in two frames of reference that is x y y z and z x so there will be two dimensions x y comma y z and z x okay so in these quadrants we say that it is a plane so it will be like this so suppose if the body is here then we can locate it along x and y so all three dimension means all the three dimensions the body will be located from x axis y axis and z axis so vectors are used to describe these physical quantities okay So I'll remove this what I have written. Now, to understand the two dimensions, we should understand about vectors. So already you know about vectors, but it is my duty to again say what are the vector quantities and what are the scalar quantities. So uh, in a two dimension means we will uh, concentrate on two motion that is projectile motion and circular motion okay so let us see what are scalar quantities and what are vector quantities scalar quantities a scalar quantity is a quantity uh, physical quantity which have only magnitude and no direction for example mass so suppose this is the mass of a 1 kg okay then the length the length of a scale that is 1 cm 2 cm length of a cloth right and area so suppose this is a rectangle that is the area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth area of a triangle area is concerned to this that is the dimensions only we will take so that is the scalar quantity it has no direction you can that means if if you want to measure a cloth so suppose this is a cloth and it uh, it measures like 5 meter the cloth is 5 meter you can i let us uh, take the two points as a to b you can either measure from a to b or from b to a you get the same magnitude so this is known as the uh, uh, the scalar quantity it has no direction either you can start from a to b or b to a mass also either you can take uh, it is only completely about the mass of a body okay so now let us see distance so distance that means if a body covers if this is a a uh, vehicle it covers uh, like example if this is an electric pole electric pole and the distance of this vehicle to the electric pole is like 2 km 
okay so either it may move from here to here or here to here we uh, we are how, however it is that is the distance here, however it can take the measurement so that is known as the distance it is again a scalar quantity volume i have not written here volume okay so volume is the complete dimension length into breadth into height that is again a scalar quantity now what is a vector quantity a vector quantity is a physical quantity which have magnitude as and also direction for a, they are known as the vector quantities for example displacement displacement is the shortest display distance covered by the body so a to b distance is however you can go and form this one but the dis, dis, uh, dis, this is displacement that is the shortest distance between the two bodies between the two points so this is the distance this is the difference between distance and displacement displacement uh, it can be only positive distance can be positive negative okay uh, sorry uh, displacement can be negative positive or zero distance is only positive then weight weight is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity okay so weight is m into g okay and force again this is also force m into a velocity v is equal to displacement by time taken so all these are the vector quantities acceleration also is there okay momentum is there that these all are the vector quantities hope you have understood this so let us move on to the next slide a representation of vectors a vector is represented graphically by a directed line segment so i have drawn a line segment the of length pq so this is the line segment it has a magnitude it has a direction the arrow head shows the direction of the vector p indicates the tail of the vector from where it starts and where it ends q is where it ends p is the tail and q is the head of the vector okay or it is also known as the terminus so this is a how we represent so suppose there is a physical quantity a it is a vector quantity right on its head an arrow mark small line segment and with a arrow mark so this represents a a vector a unit vector represents like this cap unit vector this is known as a unit vector in kinds of vectors we will see what is a unit vector so now let us see different kinds of vectors first is a localized vector what is a localized vector so localized or fixed vector here a vector whose tail is fixed a vector whose tail is fixed is called a localized or fixed vector a vector whose uh, tail is fixed is called a localized or a fixed vector and second comes the non linear vector non localized vector so non localized vector is it is not fixed the vector is not fixed vector whose whose t 
tail is not fixed. is called a non localized vector okay third one is a null vector so i will not cover all so some important only i will be covering so collinear vector is the vectors which are uh, uh, which having equal or unequal magnitudes but drawn in the same direction vectors of equal or non equal magnitudes but drawn in same direction is called a collinear vector okay so so for example if this is a vector of 2 meter another vector lies here only another vector of lies here only so they are lin collinear vectors so now let us let us go to the fourth vector that is the negative vector so negative vectors are the vectors which have equal magnitude but the direction are uh, opposite they have the equal magnitude vectors having equal magnitude but opposite direction so for example if this is a vector p so it has an equal and opposite another vector that is minus p this is known as the negative vector and next let us go to the last one unit vector so the vectors which have the here unit vectors are the vectors having vector having unit magnitude that means the magnitude of that vector is 1 unit magnitude so for example it is denoted by 
n cap modulus which is equal to 1 and if there is a vector therefore n vector unit vector is equal to the physical quantity divided by modulus of that physical quantity gives the unit vector so a vector is equal to unit vector into modulus of the physical quantity so this is about the unit vector still there are many vectors that will not discuss here in detail so i will wind off the uh, lecture here hope you have understood the lecture bye bye thank you and please subscribe subscribe to my channel bye bye